Kevin, you're not a Parliament Hill reporter, and yet this is a, a story that certainly has shaken Parliament Hill for now a couple of years. How'd you get the story? Well, my name is uh, often associated with stories like this. Uh, I was putting gas in my car on the Queensway in Toronto uh, in June of 2015. My phone rang, I always answer it, and uh, uh, it was this young woman telling me this, uh, what at the time seemed an incredible story, that she, uh, two years earlier at age 16, had uh, begun an affair, uh, uh, she may have called it a relationship uh, of a sexual nature with Senator Don Meredith, uh, who was also a pastor uh, uh, and a 48-year-old man while she was just 16. Did you know who he was, the senator at the time? I didn't. I'll confess I didn't, Mark. I, uh, I instantly thought of Don Meredith, who's I think an NFL uh, uh, ex-football ex player, yeah. player. And uh, and while I was talking to her, then I was, uh, as we do these days, uh, him Googling uh, to see uh, who he was. And then I realized that he was uh, a senator from Toronto, a, a pretty low-profile pro one, uh, n not somebody that, that I knew or ever come across before. But you realized that these allegations were explosive. Tell us how. How do you verify this? Because she didn't want to go to the police because she wanted to protect her anonymity. How do you verify her allegations? Yeah, these are it's so tough. I mean, I had just come off doing the Jean Gomeshi story, and it's it's so tough uh, if somebody will not uh, come forward on the record. Uh, what I did is I instantly the next day went to uh, to Ottawa uh, and, and interviewed her for uh, two or three hours. I asked her to provide any some identification so I knew who she was. Uh, uh, so I got a sense of, of what uh, what had brought her to Canada. She's a, a student from, from overseas. Uh, and then I said, do you have any documentary proof that would back this up? And in fact, she did. She had uh, kept a lot of uh, messages uh, that they had exchanged through text or Viber or Skype. And I spent a considerable time going through those and uh, and, and, and lining uh, up what she said with what the, the record showed. And to the best of my ability, it seemed like she was telling the truth. Explosive story that, that comes out, and, and your job as an investigative journalist is not to run him out of office. Your job is to, to shine the light in dark corners, and, and you've done that with this story. But what did you expect would happen next, knowing that this was two, almost two years ago? Yeah, I think my work took about two weeks before we published the story on our front page. And uh, well, what happened almost immediately, because things move so fast these days in the journalistic world, is an, an hour later, sen uh, Stephen Harper, the then Prime Minister, uh, booted him out of the Conservative caucus. And what I thought would happen soon after would that there would be a quick investigation either by the police uh, or by the Senate ethics officer and then he would be gone from the Senate. And here we are almost two years later uh, still waiting sometime in the next two weeks for the Senate to make its own ruling. Well it's, uh, it was certainly a, a damning story. It's not over yet. We'll continue to follow it. Kevin, thank you. Thanks for having me.